Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a random reading for May 10th. Now they're just general random reading, so take what applies. If it applies, you know what to do the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the box below. Let's see what's shaking for somebody in... Whoa! May 10th. First card that came out is the Ten of Swords, the Backstab Betrayed, I'm so done with you card. Followed by the Nine of Cups, the Yes card, a wish being fulfilled. Hmm. Clearly nobody wishes to be backstabbed or betrayed. This could have been somebody wishing revenge on somebody. It looks like they got it. Hmm. But we'll see. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. But a messenger of the sea here. Taste, touch, prove things. It could be somebody was wishing for maybe a new job or a new opportunity to come to them after some sort of betrayal or backbiting here. Maybe if somebody experienced this, they just wished for something new and different, and maybe they got the wish. Hmm. Now we have the Eight of Swords, the self-imposed mind prison. Somebody could very well be worried about this opportunity that's Taking its sweet time coming in. They're probably wondering if it ever ever gonna come here or get here. Hmm. I do believe that the Ten of Swords, so is the it's already happened to somebody. I'm looking for a new opportunity. These are face down, but I always have to look. <laughs> You've got the eight of wands here. Communication, fast communication, reciprocated communication. And then you get the ten of wands. Someone can lay down their burdens. Maybe stop worrying, but they were face down. We'll see if they want to come back out. So some... Oh, okay. These two were face up. We have the Two of Cups. That I get you card, that soulmate connection. Followed by the Sun. Most positive card in the deck, and that's right under the Ten of Swords. Somebody could have been betrayed by a significant other, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, don't matter. And somebody's hoping for another opportunity, but they don't know or think they're going to get it. They're worried about it. Because this person feels like they have a strong bond with somebody. In the sun card here after the Ten of Swords, I mean, there is, there is the biggest light there is. At the end of the tunnel. Maybe somebody's wishing that something never happened. Oh, now that I said that. Could be. With a fire-like person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who takes on these properties. Somebody who is charismatic, motivated, creative, has drive. And then you have the star card. Another wish card. Right under the nine, the Knight of Pentacles. Now I just had a bunch hit the floor, so hold on. <laughs> Sometimes I think it's just key words that I say that they're listening. They're like, you got it. <laughs> so. 
So healing and perhaps a new opportunity either with either coming from a fire-like person or this might have been the receiving end of getting the Ten of Swords from this fire-like person. But somebody feels like they're very connected. This one wants to come out. You have the Empress. Known as a Taurus or a Libra. But she's got the Zodiac sign behind her. I don't know if you can see that or not. So she's a little bit of all the queens, I believe, because she's queen of all queens. She is practical, methodical, analytical, kind, nurturing, birthing new ideas, the successful business person. And if there's ever a person that could, give, that could forgive someone, it would be the Empress. And that's right under the Eight of Swords, worrying about if somebody's going to get a second chance or not, a new opportunity after something hitting the fan. I'm kind of feeling that this person who wants a second chance is the person who put the Ten Swords in someone's back. And maybe now they're realizing how connected they are to someone. I'm telling you, as soon as I start talking. Get the lover's card. And it's right under the two of cups. Again, that soulmate connection, that bond. Like no other. Wow. Wow. One, two, three, four. Four major arcana. <laughs> Make that five. Bottom of the deck. You have the world card. And this is cycles ending. So brand new cycles can begin and brand new opportunities that bring new avenues and open up new doors. And I do think that's what somebody here is looking for. So let's get into it. We have someone who's feeling the backstab, the betrayed, the lied to, the cheated on. I'm so done with you. But they made a wish. Also known as a yes card. For something, an opportunity to have something tangible. The see here, taste, touch, prove things. The things that have worth and value to them. Is a relationship a pinnacle? You're darn tootin'. Oh. <laughs> that was so Toy Story. Sorry. <laughs> and somebody's been over and over in their mind thinking about this. This new opportunity. How can they have it? How can they get it? Or how can they get back this connection? But there is positive hope in the future that this cycle can close and a brand new opportunity, a positive opportunity can come. Perhaps with somebody who is creative, passionate, motivated. And whatever happened here can be healed and fixed. I think maybe somebody has to be motivated or take that course of action in order to have this. This is a card of, you know, the universe is with this person, that their guides are with them. They hear them. And there's probably something being divinely orchestrated because when I see these two cards, it makes me think that there is something, you know, going on behind the scenes. And I think somebody is kind enough to make this work. This person, okay, 
can make this work and make it very successful if they choose so. And that being right under the Eight of Swords, somebody wants to be back on top. Somebody wants to be back in someone's life. And they want that connection again, despite what has happened. Whether it's this person's fault, that person's fault, it doesn't matter. These two people share a bond. And they both know it. So let's break it down, folks. After some sort of betrayal, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the wrong card. Here's the light. Something positive can be salvaged out of this. And somebody's wishing for it. Possibly with a fire-like person. Or somebody is motivated, passionate to chase this dream. Because they wished for it. And they're wishing and they're hoping that that opportunity comes. But it's all they think about. Perhaps this person wants to be a better person. Maybe a little bit more understanding. Maybe a little bit more passionate. You know, maybe more nurturing for the other person. Because no matter how you slice this, these people are soulmates. They are connected. They share something together that absolutely can be salvaged. And they can have that new opportunity if they choose to move forward with it. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.